called Hard Rack Hard Rock Rising. I sat down with Dirty Smiles as they fight for their spot in this global competition. So take a look. Meet Dirty Smile. A local band that is representing Western New York in Hard Rock Rising, a global competition highlighting new music. We are a mix of pop, rock, and soul. We all bring a little bit of something. Like Gus brings the pop, Eric brings rock, I bring the soul. Uh, so that's kind of our mixture. We try to be fun and, I mean, it, you know, our music is definitely emotional. I think we're a unique band and I I don't I don't think there's a band around here that has the same sound and the same factor that we have. Uh, we have something unique here and uh, hopefully it gets noticed. Unfortunately for a local band in Buffalo, a city full of unsung musical talent, getting noticed for original work can be a difficult task. It's, it's extremely hard, um, especially with a city that, you know, the music scene is great but it doesn't get a lot of recognition. Um, local, you know, um, original music doesn't get a lot of recognition. Despite the challenges of succeeding in an industry full of roadblocks and uncertainty, Dirty Smile has decided to dedicate themselves to their music. We all sat down, it was um, probably a year ago now that we all sat down and said that we want to take this more seriously now. You know, we want to get out there, we want to play more shows, get our, our music out there, and are we all in? Uh, so, yeah, I'd, I'd say since it's been a year now that we've really been working hard to, to climb that ladder and become a better band and become better people together. This hard work is about to pay off because thanks to Hard Rock Rising, Dirty Smile's music is making its way around the globe. We, we're hoping to go to Rome, play a festival in front of about 40,000 people. Uh, I mean, that's it. How? How can you get better than that? I mean, we don't know who's headlining yet. It's still very uh, mysterious. But um, <laughs> a couple of years ago, uh, more than me, a Buffalo band won, and they played for Paul McCartney and Pearl Jam. I mean, it's huge. It's incredible. You've heard the saying that all roads lead to Rome. Well, this couldn't be more true for Dirty Smile, whose first steps were taken right here in Buffalo. We went into uh, GCR Studios, uh, recorded uh, Siren, uh, one of the songs that we just recently had written. Uh, we got it in uh, right around January, and then um, it went to a social uh, media vote uh, where we were number one throughout uh, all of the voting. Uh, there was 80 bands that had submitted. Um, then uh, after we had gotten uh, word from Hard Rock, uh, we got our live date. There were two uh, battles. Um, and. Uh, we came out on top on both of them. After one huge success comes another challenge. But luckily for Dirty Smile, this challenge is one that their fans and supporters can help out with. Well, right now we're in the middle of it. Um, from April 28th to May 7th is uh, voting uh, that it's all, all social media through uh, Facebook. Uh, so we need the Western New York region to get behind us. The people always get behind their own. Western New York is, is huge with supporting their own, which is, I mean, that's the best thing about this city. I mean, you know, with these snowstorms that happen, what's happening? Everybody's outside helping each other, pushing each other out of snowbanks, shoveling for each other. You know, I mean, we're always getting behind each other. The exposure that we've gotten from, from this has just been huge. And hopefully it just keeps going. And we'll make sure we post a link to our Facebook so you know how to vote for Dirty Smile. They are amazing. I got to see them live, and it was definitely a fun show. So make sure you give a little support for some, some Western New Yorkers going a very long way.